I don't I I don't mind being classified as a native artist because I am native. <laughs> but that doesn't limit me to just doing, you know, stuff based on traditional. So I do a wide variety and, and different styles and I like doing different styles as well. So I'm not just uh, I don't really want to be classified and stereotyped as just a native artist. Yeah, I'm an artist <laughs> who happens to be native. The project that I'm working on right now, it's called Gahawi She Carries. Gahawi in Mohawk means she carries and that's the name of my daughter and that's the name that was the name of my grandmother. So again, the inspiration goes right back to uh, uh, family and culture and the idea of the continuation of the cycles and the cycle of life, which is very, very much a part of our culture because all of our ceremonies uh, follow the cycle, a uh, yearly cycle, and we embrace both uh, life and death. My first initial work with Kahawi Shikari started as a solo exploration. So there is uh, an example of the solo, the beginning of the work, and it was very much, again, I wanted to capture that life, the, just the essence of life, not even manifested into a human form, but just that, that bubbling of life. And then finally, um, as the solo progress, it, uh, progresses, this life force becomes becomes a human, manifested as a human. So that's, that's um, where the uh, work began and, it, and it's very organic based. These are universal themes so that somebody who is not native or Iroquois would be able to really, from the work, be able to understand what's happening, its life, its birth, its, its death, and <laughs> those are all very basic to human existence. From my perspective, I live in a contemporary world and I also have knowledge of my traditional background and I'm learning in both aspects. But I think that um, artists today should be able to embrace the contemporary because for so many years we've been, our, like I'd say, our culture, I mean native, native uh, culture has been looked always from a historical perspective, that we weren't living, that our culture was somehow dead, that it was in museums along with the bones and everything, and that that is not true. But the truth is, is that we're living and thriving and creating, and I think that's what drives me as well, to know that this is, this is contemporary Aboriginal expression, um, that all of our knowledge is still very present